Imagine being the perfect typist. Uh, not like this. Uh, right, I'm really, really trying to narrate this video. Ah, oh, surely there's got to be an easier way. Python to the rescue. Okay, so we're going to install an extra module into Python here. So we need a pip install. Now in MU, that's very easy. You go to third party packages and we want to install PI Auto GUI. Okay, so we've now got the PI Auto GUI so we can use it. We're also going to import time. First thing we want to do is create a simple uh, for loop and this is literally a countdown so that it doesn't start typing immediately. Then we're going to open up the file code.txt. You can call it what you like, put it in the same folder, and then it is going to auto type right the actual thing. And you can see the delay speed. We've set that to 0 0.1, uh, but make it bigger or smaller, and it will be perfect. Now, the code I've given you so far is going to be absolutely fine if you're using Microsoft Word, Notes, or something. Um, that doesn't require. Unfortunately, it doesn't well work well with an IDE because it can't handle the tabs and backwards tabs as an IDE. So we're going to need something a little bit more sophisticated because us coders, well, we are more sophisticated, are we not? So we're going to deal with our back tabbing mechanism and we're going to create a function for this. First thing I'm going to have to use is a global variable for spaces to count the spaces at the beginning of each character. I've set it up as four spaces uh, for each tab, so that helps me deal with that. And the first thing I'm going to do is just put in a print statement. So if the spaces are larger than the count space, we're going to back tab. We're now going to use the uh, functions built into PyAuto GUI um, to create special commands. So we're going to use key down, we're going to use shift, and we're going to press the tab button, and then we're going to use key down. So that effectively back tabs for us. Okay, so there are some other things we need to be aware of when we're dealing with the tabs and some other situations. So if we are back at the beginning, we need to just return the line as is. Otherwise, we need to get rid of the spaces because MU and other code editors automatically move to the next line at the same space as when you left it, which is really useful when you're actually typing, but actually causes a problem with an auto typer. So let's have a look at the overall code now and some of the key details. Firstly, you've got your imports. You do need to pip install PyAuto GUI before you do anything. Time is a standard library, so that should be in your Python regardless. The delay speed is 0.1 second between every character. You can use 0.05 if you want to make it go faster. If you put zero, it will go as fast as it can. You can make it slower by increasing the number two. The tabbing mechanism is only needed if you are using an IDE. It's not needed for general word processors. Um, this is the number of spaces I use when I'm tabbing in, so it's four spaces. Um, but if you're using a different number of spaces, then you will need to change that for the tabs to go back properly. And this is the countdown before it starts typing. So if you need a bit longer, then just change the number uh, from three to five or whatever it is you would like so that you're comfortable. I find three seconds is enough for me to switch to the correct window. I've had a lot of problems uh, <laughs> with accidentally putting my code. So I do recommend copying your code or your file before uh, you start typing it in. And this is the file loader. If you're using MU, it's always in the MU folder. 
or otherwise it'll be in the same folder as the code. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're going to have fun with it. But please remember, this is a program that's for playing with. It isn't production quality. So there are problems, for example, if you put the space at the end of a line or you um, press spaces between lines, then these sometimes have undesired effects. I recommend doing five to ten lines at any one time. Enjoy, have fun, and I'll see you next time.